March 19 up until 24. The first thing that I want to explain is off angles. It's on page 20. If I ask you to work out a half angle, like cos alpha over 2 or cos theta, sine theta over 2, you always use the double angles of cos. That's a tip. Let me explain how you get to the answer of cos of a half angle. We use cos of a double angle, and because I want cos half angle, I use the one in terms of cos. So cos of 2 alpha equals 2 cos squared alpha minus 1. Now I'm going to change the 2 alpha only to the alpha. That means that 2 alphas half is standing there. So alphas half is standing there. Okay. Now I'm going to take this minus 1 over to the left hand side and then divide by 2. Now I want to get rid of the square, so I take, take the square root on both sides. And if you put your own square root in, it's plus or minus. Therefore, the cos of a half angle is equal to this. It would be very handy if you know this. Sine theta over 2. Do you have this on our Um, I don't think so, no. Cos 2 theta, I'm going to use, but I'm going to write this in terms of sine, because I want the sine of angle. So I'm going to half this, so 2 theta becomes theta, and theta becomes theta over 2. Then I take this plus 1 over to the left hand side, divide by negative 2, get the square root on both sides. If you put your own square root in, it's plus or minus. If I were you, I would learn this one. Um, you will get a cos of theta or a half alpha in inside the big side. And then you know that you must reduce it to this. Okay. Now let's go to no. Go to an example on page 19. Where I'll say if tan is 3 quarters and theta lies between 180 degrees and 360 degrees, calculate something. Now I give you two clues. You have to draw your triangle. So first start with the Cartesian plane, the cost diagram. Then look in the cost diagram, where does tan theta lie, where it is positive. Okay. There's my cost. Tan is positive in those two quantities. Then you look at the next clue. Where is theta between 180 and 360? In those two quadrants. And in which of those four quadrants are the most ticks of the circle? So you draw your triangle here. Once you've drawn your triangle, you write your summary. So you start with theta, and theta is always from the x-axis over to the hypotenuse. That's theta. If you look at your triangle, <coughs> what will the value of x be? Negative. And the value of y? 
And the value of the hypotenuse? So that's the first thing you write in, in your summary. Minus, minus, plus. Then you look for the values. Tan is y over x. So my y is 3 and my x is 4. I don't have an R, so I have to use Pythagoras to get R. And the hypotenuse is always positive, positive 5. Now you can attempt the questions. The first one is sine 2 theta. Now you only use this thing. 2 theta, the angle size is 2 theta. Is that the same as my picture? No. The picture is 1 theta. I want 2 theta. So what you do is you expand it with double angles. Now you get a theta and a theta, which you can use there with this information. So always write your answers in brackets because you have to multiply. Get your answers from your summary and simplify. The next one, cos 2 theta. I write it in terms of one trigonometry function because I'm lazy and I don't want to work out cos squared and sine squared. So you can write it either in 2 cos squared minus 1 or 1 minus 2 <coughs> sine squared. Because this is square, your answer must also be square. Simplify and get your answer. Okay. Are there any questions so far? Tan. Tan 2 theta is not the same angle as this one. So I have to rewrite tan as sine over cos. But keep the size of the angles. I know what sine 2 theta is, is that one. I know what cos 2 theta is, is that one. So it's this divided by that, and you get your answer. The next one is not on your example page. Oh, it is. It's the other one. Yeah, I want sine of half theta. So I use the one that I deducted. This one. And I only need to work out cos theta. Type everything in your calculator mm -hmm. and then you get a denominator with a root. So you have to rationalize, show it, and then you get your final answer. Our next example is the Johnny, the, the letter that I gave you for the sickness exam, just changed the date to the 17th. I must have it back. Right. Our next example is on page 21. Now I tell you that cos 25 degrees equals K and determine something else. So I only give you one clue. Draw your triangle. Now where do you know where to draw this triangle? The 25 tells you it's smaller than 90 degrees, so it's in the first quadrant. Cos is always a fraction. It's something over something. If nothing is under K, 
it means that you have to write in over 1. Therefore, cos is x over r, so x is k and r is 1. Now you draw your summary. I'm working with 25 degrees. There's my triangle. What is the value of the x's? It's positive. The value of the y's? Positive. The hypotenuse? Always positive. So write your pluses. Then you fill in what you have. My x is k. My r is y. So I have to work out y with Pythagoras. You have to show that and you must write the reason. Now I have my summary, it's complete, and now you can work with the questions that I give you. The first one is cos of 155. My triangle has a 25 degrees, but I ask a 155 degrees. So what must I do? Reduction, reduce. 155 lies here. In the second quadrant, so it's 180 minus 25. Oh, there's the 25. Cos is negative in the second quadrant, so it's a negative cos 25. And now you can just substitute cos 25 with k, negative k. The next one is cos 50. Double angles, yes. I'm working towards what, what the triangle is, the value in the triangle is. So 50 can be rewritten as 2 times 25. Then you expand this double angle, substitute cos 25 degrees, but remember to square the answer, and then you have your answer. Sine 25 degrees is easy. Just look there. Sign 50, also easy. Make the 50 2 times 25. Expand, substitute everything, put everything in brackets because you have to multiply and get your final answer. The next one is not on your notes. Tan of negative 20. negative angles lie in the fourth quadrant. So what is tan there? Negative. negative. So tan minus 25 is minus tan 25. The negative stays there and then you just work out what tan 25 is and you get your answer. Our next example is where I give you two angles. I give you an alpha and a beta. The alpha has its own range and the beta has its own range. I'm not sure where it is. Page 20. So in this case, you need two triangles. So you draw two triangles. First look where sine is positive, those two. And where is alpha between 90 and 270, those two. The quadrant with the most ticks is where you draw your triangle and it's an alpha angle. So it's from the x-axis till the hypotenuse. The next one is where is cos positive? Cos is positive in those two quadrants. Beta is between 180 and 360, these two quadrants. The one with the 
Mastics, fourth quad. Beta is from the x axis, anti clockwise, and tall clockwise. <coughs> and then you do your summary. Right? Mm -hmm. Yo? That summary kind of nice. No. But if you don't do your summary, you might lose marks in your sums, in the questions, because your signs are wrong. I use Pythagoras to get the third value of the triangle, and now you can do your sums. First one is sine of alpha minus beta, compound angle, sine cos, cos sine. Substitute everything, get your answer. Then the next one is cos, compound angle, cos, cos, sine, sine, and change the sign. Substitute everything, get your answer. Third one, this one looks difficult, 90, so it's 90 minus, and then you put those two in brackets, remember to change that sign, and then we have the little theory. She changes cos to sine, and you use that angle. We already worked out what this is in the first sum. So you just substitute. Right. Happy. Cool. Our last example. Again, I'll give you a, a direct angle, 18 degrees, so it's in the first quadrant. Sine must be a fraction, answer, so it's y over r. First, draw your summary, get all your signs, fill in your y and your r, Use Pythagoras to get the x. And now you can do your sums. Cos of 18, get your answer. Sine of 72, so I have to change the 72 to the 18. Cos option. Sine changes to cos, and you use that. And then you get your answer. Sine 78, compound angle, 60 plus 18. If you have a special angle in your sum, always draw your triangle. Expand the compound angle, fill in all your details and get your answer. Minus 1. Sine 36, it's 2 times 18, so it's a double angle. Expand, substitute, get your answer. Tan 198, reduction formula, tan 18, and get your answer. Okay, are there any questions that you follow, follow all the examples? When you look at your angle that I give you, 18 degrees is below 90, so it must be there. Your homework for tomorrow. Okay, we combined these two lessons today. That's why the lesson was so long. For tomorrow, you have to do exercise fives number one and three, and exercise six number one. One and three. One and three. 
and exercise six, number one. Tomorrow's homework is exercise five, number two, and exercise six, number two, three, and four. So exercise five, complete, and exercise six, complete, must be done by Tuesday. Wednesday. Wednesday. We're going to mark it. Tomorrow I'm going to carry on with Wednesday's lesson and give you Wednesday's homework as well so that you'll be able to do the test. Okay, the things changed with the test. Okay, the number counts 28 degree, oh, degrees. <laughs> 28 marks. Sequences and series counts 12. And differentiation counts 10. And you only need to study up until page 33. The expanded for this one is on the 17th of April. And 